Righto, Tellio. Today I'm going to be looking at the Dell Inspiron 7000 gaming laptop. So this thing here is an affordable gaming laptop, 769 US, 1275 Australian, and I'd imagine around 650 pounds or so. So it's very affordable for a gaming laptop. Of course, it's a 15 inch gaming laptop and it does have some heft to it, but for a gaming laptop, it's actually not that bad. It's pretty slim for a gaming laptop. I know there are some Ultrabook gaming laptops, but in terms of full-on gaming laptops, the size and weight isn't that bad. I will cover that in my full review, so make sure you subscribe to see that. It's down there near the like button. Now, the specs in this laptop, it has an Intel i7 7700 HQ processor and has a GTX 1050 Ti, 4GB. So this is my gaming review and I will be comparing it to say the 1050, how much faster is it than that, which is the graphics card in the XPS 15 and also this is the exact same hardware that the ZenBook Pro has. So pretty much the ZenBook Pro will perform exactly like this or less and it's hard to get my hands on one of those but as soon as I can I will definitely be reviewing that but this is how it will perform and maybe it will perform not as good because maybe the cooling's not as good I don't know yet so with gaming laptop this has got the perfect configuration where you have a hard drive and an m.2 ssd in there 16 gigs ram maximum to 32 the display on this is actually an ips panel 1080p 60 hertz it's actually decent display the glare is like extremely well controlled you don't don't get any glare at all and it's about what I'd expect at this price point obviously it's not going to be the same as like a $2,000 laptop you know it's not going to have a huge color gamut but for gaming this is perfectly fine and I don't really have an issue with it especially for the price so I guess this is a gaming laptop and you want to see how it performs so that GTX 1050 Ti how much faster is it than a GTX 1050 in my testing at least up to 15% faster. I did expect it to be a little bit faster, but in most games I test, it's around 15% faster than a GTX 1050. So the GTX 1050 Ti will get you roughly around 15% more performance than a 1050. There may be some games where it is higher, but that's what I got in my testing. And let's get into the gaming benchmarks. Now, all these games are on high settings and DSX Mankind divided 48 frames per second. That's 14% faster than the 1050 GTA 5 get around 73 frames per second high settings 1080p Battlefield 1 70 frames per second 1080p high Crisis 3 74 frames per second and that's 13% faster than the 1080 and with PUBG Players Unknown's Battlegrounds I got over 60 frames per second but you know the game isn't optimized yet but you will get your 60 frames per second 1080p high on PUBG and also I think this computer must be possessed because the score I got for Fire Strike was 6666 yeah the number of the beast yes so you can see that this laptop at its price point it's hard to beat 1080p high settings 60 frames per second that's what you want and pretty much every game it does that bar one I tested which is DSX but that is really hard on the system make sure you stay tuned for my full review I'm just going to play some GTA 5 you can have a look at its frame rates and temperatures and just with temperatures maximum temp was low 80s and it usually hovers in the 70s so it's very well controlled thermally there is no throttling it is a fantastic gaming device i think there's some alienware dna in this system because the way the cooling works it looks sort of similar and the layout so this is a fantastic gaming device for its price 1080 gaming it just smashes it out it's just a fantastic laptop for gaming so i'd like to thank you guys for watching you can watch this gameplay in the background if you like this video give me a thumbs up and until next time guys tally ho Right, fellas so have a listen out for the fans i have the microphone right next to the actual laptop itself and just see you'll see it doesn't throttle at all and the temperatures well controlled pretty much under 80. well sometimes it actually does go over 80 but it usually comes down pretty quickly maximum 85 it doesn't throttle it is excellent for 1080p gaming whoa high settings of course so 1080p high settings you're going to get your 60 frames easily that's if you can hear me over the fans it does get loud but what gaming laptop doesn't 
get loud, so. Oh, 